Okay. 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 Uh, I'm just going to read um, um, just uh, uh, just a few poems from uh, Nigel, which is um, uh, largely a kind of book of poems about early cinema from the transition from still photography to uh, to uh, moving pictures. And um, one kind of figure who recurs in the book is uh, E. J. Murray, who was a French physiologist who was uh, fascinated by how you. Um, how you try and kind of capture motion, and made these amazingly beautiful um, kind of chrono photographs, which you've got to see. Actually, are much more beautiful, I think, than the Mybridge, the more famous uh, kind of images. So uh, a lot of this is kind of homage, really, to silent cinema, which I love. And I'll just read a few of these before reading the movies and stuff. Um, and I, I made quite a, lot, uh, quite a few carnages uh, when I was doing the um, uh, the poems. So uh, if you go online. Uh, from the website, you'll, you'll see these kind of collages, which ideally I like the poems to be in dialogue with. Okay. The end of portraiture. A portrait is a flaw in the continuity of fates. So race it out. A desire mould quaking under cleague. Hatches volcanic. Revolting outlines. Curdle at a scream. The main features won't set. Plate of nerves serves a series, flesh crawls off bone scaffold. See the degree to which emotion riddles ripple oceanic. Photography's slow thaw. For what are they thinking of? Photosynthetic giants fathom in light, bloom on staircase stems attached to spinal corridors. Chemical plants house the harvest fear. A picture lives out the frame. An Edison inventing invention. His light bulb pings ideation, radiation across a thousand comic strips. How persistent the vision of a single wizard conjures away countless claimants in the world's first lap dissolve. The islands of Dr. Murray. In tinted in tropical nights, a hand winds up so the body can down the flights of its various stairs, fighting the weight of its own gait. Not limb from limb, the tear is in the very fabric of form. Featuring a prosthetic hymn, reverse metonym limb of motion's muscle. Embalmed, suddenly <coughs> daddies claim the mummy, bandaged in patent. Between funeral rite and birth pang, metal fangs seize the perforated pose and run it over the threshold of illusion. Patent graph. On the seabed of space-time fled, objects stare down subjects. On the predicate, their filmy gaze is the glaze on hunger. The look of the looked at feasts on us furniture. In the no time between frames, white flocks flare, pulling out all the stops in succession. Hand-cranked, vascular vehicles lobby the vestigial dark. A volley of gesture stretches the conductive skin. In the dressing of a wound, material origins of celluloid film, Murray stalks the still, moving across Neapolitan hills. The game survived the shots, smudged silhouette trophies, all that remains of the hunt. And a homage to uh, George Melies, Melomania. There's a new headline in the land of silver rain, Celestial body swallows train. Consider how cellulite grain swells and rabbits quest for hats to pass through into the land of incoherent geography. They are pursued, these creatures of the cut, loose luminaries of the painted set, plan a jaunt through inky space-time, perched on the proverbial shoestring. Terrible telescoping takes the new craft to the surface of the sun. Grease paint and gaseous mane greet the nauseous pill. A century of thrilling illusion spills to the bottom of the sea. Okay. Um, and I thought I'd, I'd read from a book that I think I've just uh, very recently finished. Um, a book called Archilochus on the Moon. Um, Archilochus, history tells us, is the first lyric poet. He was a soldier. Um, as well as a poet, and he took part in the um, early kind of colonial expeditions. Uh, he's famous uh, for um, um, his kind of metrical innovations. 
is famous for um, iambic um, kind of verse, but uh, iambic verse meant more than kind of metrics in ancient Greece. Um, iambic uh, was also very much a kind of a form uh, to do with kind of a particular tone and to do with um, cursing and blame and invective. And Archilochus is particularly famous for um, being jilted by, um, he was um, betrothed to um, Nebulae, uh, uh, Nebulae's father, Lycambes, called it off. And uh, as a result of this, Archilochus wrote a kind of load of poems that were so kind of scurrilous that apparently the entire family committed suicide <laughs> as a result of <laughs> When poetry was coming for a while. Can't invent the audience for that. Can you? <laughs> so I'll just read, um, yeah, I'll just read a few of these. Archilochus on the moon. It's got a, a, a fake, um, a, a fake um, Delphic oracle epigraph. Um, announce to the Parians, Archilochus, that I bid you found a conspicuous city on the moon. Uh, I won't read the numbers again. The throat and feet collected, dust, deep and the colour of age, spread thick as a painted lady's cheek. We settle on the pockmarked grave of all faces, the undergarments of all the sapped places the oracle sent us to, for a few more allotments, lands to turn our spear-flexing hands to, and if they are taken, Ares, there is no mistaking with what we irrigate crops. Yet here the seas have died, so to what exactly do we sacrifice? Save memories of wineskins, fair cap waves, parine figs, and woodtop hills. I offer thanks and my arse for a flag. <laughs> we call it the child lands, as the thinness of air leaves us helpless as our young. And we dream whilst awake of mornings, trees and seas, and not to feel each frosted bone anger the other. This sword work under the skin makes the body gently sing. For we are strung out under stars and the skies perpetually thick as lust and no less black. Our chests, shield wall tight, rattle like wifely prattle. Our bird fast hearts, caged fists. We wake wave wet for want of the sea, the light fires of our fish nets. Late locusts upon a land long stamped by the dead, their dust life we swallow along with fight gum. The ogre is a fucked, we keep them company. Hedgehogs. Have it nailed. As a whelp I swam, felt the moon's clutch, and now it's weak, soft as the pulse to a flute. And disputes are similarly distant, dance on the wick of a lit spear tip. For such is thought. My nipples crack with imaginary salt. The only measured motion that governs here, my bowels. Last night I dreamt a crater dish of bird bones cast as an oracle. Yet Apollo bid me jump the outcome and set to work. So I stripped sticks white in the grey sand, binding them tight with catgut, to arrive at a pipe, and blew hymns through civic holes, this low-born sound of the body's subjects, under duress, like an ass's back. Zeus of oaths and tithes, I remain perplexed on this matter of sacrifice. On Paris, we'd strip an ox back to its basic parts, feast on the finest portions of beasts, and only as the grease pearled in our beards would we return thanks. In fat wrapped thigh bones blistered to buggery on your altar. A flourishing city honours the gods, gives that you will give, but you do not, but do you not, Zeus, scoff at offal and bow? On the moon, 
we strip dignity back to its basic parts of bone. Our new home has no place for it. It's swept away like the rumour of seas. What on earth, not on earth, appeases you, Zeus? These thighs have little fat on them, and we don't bake under the charred skies. Though we spit and learn this new pact, and here the deal is different. You scoff the fullest meal, leave us hope's carcass. Hephaestus, let us, you and I, play a game. I will make a wish from immediate materials, chiefly bone and blood, and further soft stuff jammed beneath the head bone that joins the ears, and those daily fears we grant shape later. I will make this wish substance, stand it tall for all to survey, if you will burn it straight away. Let Delphi smell those vapours, and know how we've prospered lined the pockmarked pocket of the moon. What regiment is a body that head heaps its orders on those below, yet citizen flesh contests? From the red mess of slop in bone chest to the outlying borders, there is chat. And that quickens to a squall, this struggle to wisely govern an assembly. For you, Eros, the bodies are brawl in a Thracian marketplace. Unhinged, my limbs lose their brotherhood. Scrap with a bunch was once true company. Yet if this moon is ash, it once was lit, and even fighting men search quick wits for the semblance of a wick. So here's the kick, hopes that contrary prick kindles fastest in the damp. Tomorrow, I'll send my fingers to the surface of the moon on a mission to sweep debris and creep under Hecate's lid. Yeah, we'll have no simple burial. Hands, you'll quarry deep for clay, a wet grey stuff so soft you'll drag this hole back up to the top and under the spray of stars we'll shape a jar, delicate but deep. Fire this belly with desire sparks, born of my contest with the dark chambers of my heart. And once it's baked, this vessel can wrestle with my submission. I'll take out the seat of my rage from its boat cage and squeeze. A thick rain will fall, carry blame plots, bloody islands flushed from my tributaries. With these gone, caught in this future jar, I'll rest apart from all I've pressed into my art, like stained feet after trodden grapes. Oh, my darling. One. That really long one. About ten pounds one, no problem. Oh, guess God, Zeus, finally I get it. When hope loosens like ill-fitting cloth, you take it off, it itches. So you've stripped us, and the skin sings having shrugged off the blue silk skies for black spades. And we admire the trick, that you've stripped us bark back to youngest wood. And we saps on the moon live in the grey of the olive tree, toughen like figs in the drying sheds on the shores. <laughs>